In the midst of a heated debate on the EU's contentious nature restoration law, Vincent Delabel is asking himself some questions. This farmer near Tournai in Belgium has around 70 dairy goats on his 20 hectare farm. He took it over from his family a few years ago now and has already committed to organic farming. He didn't wait for political decisions to be taken before launching his farm in the direction of preserving ecosystems, including the installation of plant fences. Mais elles, elles fournissent également de l'ombrage pour les animaux, du bois de chauffage pour la maison. Et euh, elles permettent également, grâce à leur système racinaire important, de favoriser la percolation de l'eau de pluie euh, plus profond en, dans le sol, notamment en cas d'extrême climatique. For him, everything starts with the soil. His meadows are diversified with grass and vegetables, always with a view to restoring ecosystems. This variety attracts more insects and the different roots of each plant strengthen the soil against extreme weather conditions. Vincent rotates the grazing of his meadows to avoid exhausting the land. He's also closely following the current discussions in the European Parliament on the Nature Restoration Act, which aims to restore 20% of the EU's land and marine areas. The organic farmer supports the EU's climate ambitions, but has some doubts. Nos réserves, c'est clairement l'idée d'avoir euh, une séparation des espaces avec une production intensive d'une part et des autres espaces où on ne puisse plus rien faire ou qui soit uniquement dédié à la conservation de la nature, la préservation. Nous, notre modèle, c'est absolument pas celui-là. C'est vraiment l'intégration dans les écosystèmes agricoles, nourriciers, avoir de la place et des fonctions. Euh, vraiment euh, qu'il y ait une participation des insectes, des arbres des haies, euh, à la production alimentaire et à l'approvisionnement euh, sain et durable euh, de notre alimentation. On Tuesday, all eyes will be on the European Parliament's Environment Committee, which is due to vote again on the text. The centre-right and far-right want to reject this proposal outright because they say it threatens agricultural production and therefore food safety. The farming community stresses, though, that as things stand, there are not enough resources to make this transition a success. Okay. Thanks.